Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith from Piece of Cake and these are a couple of English paper pieced blocks from the Hand Sewing Adventure, my block of the month, that you can find online. Something I have been playing with is a slightly different stitch to do my English paper piecing and I thought I would do a quick video to show you. So I'm going to move these out of the way and pick up these two pieces that I'm sewing together now. Move that out of the way. Let me pull this in. So I have my needle threaded and I'm using an 80 weight cotton thread from Orafil and that's a really good thread to use for English paper piecing because you do pack so many stitches in such a small area. If you use too thick a thread it really shows. The traditional stitch for English paper piecing has you taking your stitch straight, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble there, straight across and then to make the next stitch you drop your needle down and do another stitch catching the folded edge of the two fabrics. What happens is that the thread is traveling at an angle and when you open your pieces up you see angled stitches and angled stitches catch the eye more than straight stitches. Well it's a subtle change but what I'm doing these days and I really like this stitch is I find where the thread has come out of the fabric on the left. I'm going to put my needle in to the fabric, the outside of that fold on the opposite side, but instead of going straight across, I'm going to point my needle down and to the left, just like that. So the needle is traveling at an angle. And as I pull my thread through, yes, it travels at an angle, but it's buried in the folds of thread. So what I want to do is be sure that you want to not have your needle exposed. As you make this stitch, make sure your needle goes from fabric to fabric with little or none of the shaft of the needle being visible. And you can get that by pinching the fabric together a little bit more. What's happening with the thread here is that the actual stitch from side to side is straight. The part where you travel to put your needle in place for the next stitch, that thread is buried in the fabric. So when you open the work up, those stitches are straight across. They're not completely invisible, but they're close. I have been matching my thread to the darker fabric up to a point, not real dark, but closer to in color and value the darker fabric. I did a lot of stitching with a light, medium, and dark neutral thread and was using it across the board. When your thread doesn't match at least one of the fabrics, it is going to be a little bit more visible. But English paper piecing, it's never going to be one of those kinds of stitching where you can reliably hide your thread all the time. That's just part of it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to this. I don't think so. Don't make your stitches too long. You will be tempted as you uh, point your needle down to maybe go too far. Don't. It won't be secure enough. You really do need many stitches together to do this. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Sometimes you can hold your block in your hand so that you are stitching with it and you're coming toward yourself. There are going to be other times where you have to hold the block so that you're going from side to side. If that's the case, your thread needs to be coming out of the bottom side of the seam. 
so that when you make your stitch you're still taking the thread directly across to the other side but the angle now is from right to left and down just a little bit. What I find is I don't like this direction as much but when you're sewing together a big block or you've got lots of pieces that's too much to get into your hand and it's too hard to bring your hand up from the bottom. And in that case you just have to do this. If you have to hold your block in some other way so that you're sewing whichever direction is comfortable for you, the key to remember is that you always want to put the needle in to the spot that is straight across from where the thread has come out of that fabric, straight across, and then you travel down, over, up. You travel at a diagonal angle to put your needle in position for the next stitch. I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope you have many happy stitches. Thanks for watching.